All right, how's everybody doing? Uh, just going to kind of go through getting a lot of information from a lot of people, and you know, I value that. And somebody said this looked like a coronavirus. Could be. Um, I mean, I respect it. It could. Now, if he ends up getting sick again. And that's the deadly wound. Because <laughs> it says a deadly wound by the sword. So I just, it is, well, his right eye has to be utterly darkened. Yeah. And his arm goes, yeah. So I just don't think it'll be coronavirus. So I'm going to backtrack on that. Uh, in the height of coronavirus, he goes down. I mean, I, you know. They're telling us this is the day of the dead. So we definitely have been through that. But I respect the, you know, I respect the, the take, the opinions for sure. Um, this was given, I was watching um, Donnie Darko, excuse me, Enter the Stars. Donald Trump is Donnie Darko Draco. I haven't even watched all this. Now, this that this just blows my mind. I just I just barely started watching it. And um, there's so many nuggets in here. First of all, Halloween is sitting right there in Donnie Darko. Halloween is sitting right there in Donnie Darko. This is dark. I think this is Donnie. Um, Middlesex Halloween Carnival, sponsored by the Middlesex Mad. Mothers Against Drunk Driving or whatever. So that's Donnie Darko right there. Um, Enter the Stars is telling us that Never Tear Us Apart is coming in. I, I've, I've watched Donnie Darko probably three times, but not not with the wisdom that I've had in the it's been a It's been a year probably, so it's it's definitely time to go through it um stephen king's pennywise is in there and i don't know i don't think any of the stars added all of this up together added all of what together well because any of the stars is really 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 pounding home lincoln and penny Penny and Lincoln. Lincoln on the penny. Lots of Lincoln stuff throughout the media. Uh, Lincoln was on the penny. Lots of penny stuff that he's, but I don't know if he's tying it um, into where I would want him to tie it. But by the way, there was a TV show called Penny Dreadful. And I went through the lyrics of Penny Lane. If you want to look at those lyrics by the Beatles, pretty strange. So to me, what is all of the penny symbolism? Well, there's penny in Revelation 6, where the Antichrist receives his corona. And it's Revelation 6.6. 6. And three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. So there's the oil. so there's the oil that's that's taking you to that um black horse third seal a measure ooh pennies in there twice a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny and the TV show was called Penny Dreadful. And in Donnie Darko, they were reading the book Penny Wise. So thanks for thanks to Enter the Stars for pointing that out. Enter the Stars just does so much good stuff, man. They he really broke down like Trump Tower. Um, so I had another subscriber tell me. 
that the X could stand for 10, Roman numeral, and that that stands for the full moon of the 10th month. And he said there was an asteroid supposed to be coming. Let me see. Oh, and the pharmaceuticals. I thought about this one that the pharmaceutical, remember I decided this was Trump all along because each show him going through a trans, again, it's like the book of Revelation. They, you know, Satan has copied it. It's the same story told in layers. So this is a layer of the Trump rebirthing process. And, oh, and I got to show you something else that I got from End of the Stars. But you see the pharmaceuticals down here? Trump's all about the pharmaceuticals. You know, he's like, well, you know, pharmaceuticals will save you from coronavirus. Um, I am developing a vaccine. It's going to be safe. I just got coronavirus and I got cured so fast because I was taking all of these things, supplements, pills, whatever. So... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. So whatever. <laughs> Just things that hit me, it could, could be totally wrong. I don't know. But what was it? There was something else. Uh, let me pause and go back to my email and find that. Okay, one thing was the movie The Hunt for Red October. Interesting title, Red October. We're saying that Trump goes down in a puddle of blood that's red, October 31st. Donnie Darko, it's all about a jet crash too. Time travel, jet crash, jet engine. Well, the first time Trump, the two Trumps went down, it was due to jets. And that's why you got a football team called the New York Jets. And of course, in Trump Tower, you've got the statue of Eros and Psyche, the fallen angel, having sex with human women, a human woman, which is straight out of Genesis 6, 1 through 9. There were giants in those days. That's what it, well, that's what it created. They called the Nephilim, the, the fallen angel human hybrids. They were giants. And of course, you got the New York Giants and you got the New York Jets. And it's all about Trump from New York. Interesting. Um, and when I saw this jet, when they were showing the Donnie Darko scene, it, it made me think of, well, it's just telling you the first time the, the Trump, the two Trumps went down, it was due to the jet. But they say something in here about, in Donnie Darko, about from destruction comes rebirth, which is, we just showed you that the other day. Or James Bond, he said, what's your hobby? And he said, resurrection. And he had that wound over his right eye. And that's what the Antichrist, of course, will do, allegedly. He will be rebirthed with the satanic, um, with a satanic rebirthing of being embedded with the spirit of Satan. Or he will be an avatar for Satan. Satan will have been uploaded through the technology, the ghost and the machine, to a demonic sort of. And I, I want to watch The Exorcist. I need to buy that on Blu-ray and see if they have it on Blu-ray. If not, just get it on DVD. So I'm copying from Enter the Star. So I will put it in the comments. But I still don't want to get a copyright strike. I do want to show you where Donnie Darko talks about destruction, rebirth. And what Enter the Stars is doing, and, and I, I haven't watched this whole thing, but I want to. I want to stick, there, there could be plenty of nuggets in this. They don't know where it came from. The jet engine, they don't know where it came from. That's his sister, and of course, she was in the Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises. I'm sorry, The Dark Knight, the one, you know, that had the Joker. 
So she's with Donald Trump, Donnie Darko, and she's with Bruce Wayne in The Dark Knight. So, and they, we've shown you that they, they do connect like the same guy that, that played James Bond, you know, when he went back to Scotland where Trump's mom is and James Bond went back to Scotland to visit his Scottish roots where his mom was from, just like James Bond, just like Donald Trump's mom's from Scotland and all that. So, so Daniel Craig is playing Donald Trump multiple times while the girl with the dragon tattoo, same, he had a, he had a wound over his right eye again. So, and the, and, and who was his mentor? The girl with the, that's in my Trump Antichrist series. The girl with the dragon tattoo was his ally. And what was her big weapon? Technology. She, she was able to get in the computer, into technology. That's how she did her wizardry. Which, of course, that's what Satan does. He does everything through the technology. Writing the script for movies. That's why you have all this predictive programming and everything connects. Uh, Satan tells them who to get to star in each movie. Um, just like the movie Tenet, that was one of the most bizarre movies you will ever see in your life. And all I do is watch people break down that movie. And they're like, this is Christopher Nolan's and Mr. Mick. I'm like, that's the ghost of the machine that wrote the script and showed Christopher Nolan exactly how it needed to be shot through computer animation. All Christopher Nolan did was just follow orders. So write songs, develops music videos, like how to, you know, choreographs them, so on and so forth. Let's keep going though. Since the jet engine, engine fiasco, I don't know what's gotten. Since this jet engine fiasco, I honestly don't know. I think this might be where he talks about the destruction and resurrection here, right here. Now you hear the jet engines in Donnie Darko. What does that tell you? About the first Twin Towers going down, the two Trumps. The two towers, the two trumps. That's what that was representative of. So Donnie Darko again stands for Donald Darkness. And they show you that on a medicine cabinet bottle. You see Donald and then D-A-R-K. And that's then the bottle, of course, is round, so kind of disappears. Done. Here you go, the destructors of the Twin Towers. Here you go. So I think that's what End of the Stars is telling us, that, you know, he's tying all this together. Because I started watching this video today, and I was like, wow. So I can't wait to watch the rest of it. End of the Stars, again, does a lot of good work. Honey Darko, perhaps with your recent brush with... Your recent brush with mass destruction. And he's going to say through destruction comes rebirth or resurrection. I can't remember what it is. Mass destruction. Mass destruction. Mass destruction. You can give us your opinion. The destruction of the Twin Towers. Well, it's actually going to be the destruction of Trump himself. So I don't know how much End of the Stars is tying everything together so i mean he believes in free will there's a lot of things that but I, I sincerely think that the lord is going to call him at some point um right now he's just not there totally it, it's grace every bit of discernment everything that you do in righteousness and goodness is grace it's given to you by the lord it's nothing you earn with your own intelligence. They say it right when they flood the house and they tear it to shreds. When they flood the house and they tear it to shreds. They say right when they flood the house and tear it to shreds. It's that like uh, destruction is a Destruction is a form of creation, he says. There you go. Rebirth. Same thing. So by Trump being destroyed, he will be a new creation he will be a new birth that's why he's in that when they show you an ipad goat he's in like that birthing stage he's like a baby in a and in, in the womb remember how they show you that and again they show him like 
inside of like an egg and he's being rebirthed. So there's a couple different times they're showing him being rebirthed. Actually, they show you the close up of the of him as an infant baby. And then later then you see it inside the egg. I'm sorry. Trust me again, I'm not a very bright person. So anything that I get right, it's from the Holy Spirit. Um, creation. It's been a hot day for this PE coach boy still up in the 89 90 degrees. Um, the protagonist Trevor or T devised a plan to destroy the what is this plot? Graham Greene, the destruction of the Twin Towers. You know, the burning of the money, they did that in Batman too, The Dark Knight. And the burning of the money seems to be a big thing here too. Remember when, when uh, the Joker burns their money? He's got it all stacked up. And here's another money burn situation. Kitty. Do we even know who Graham Greene is? You even know who Graham Greene is. So the that destruction is a form of creation. The fact that they burn the money is ironic. So they burn the money, just like the Joker did. They just want to see what happens when they tear the world apart. And of course, the world's going to be torn apart. Remember, two billion die. Or it says one fourth of the earth uh, receives death due to war and famine. Now, does that mean, uh, the reason why I think it means population. So let me explain that. Well, let's finish this, see what. I wanna change things. Oh, by the way, this movie came out October 2nd when Trump got his uh, crown. I didn't want to watch the movie. It was so dark. I stopped it midway through and I was like, this movie is just creepy. I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm not connecting to any of the characters. It's an 8.0. It's about as high as you can possibly get. And all of a sudden, I watched something on YouTube, and I realized that Donald Trump was the Antichrist. And I was like, this video that's sitting in my DVD player for weeks that I haven't touched. I didn't bother to go back to it as during football season or something. So I didn't, I had like other stuff to do than watch movies. And I said, that's Donald Trump. That's Donald darkness. Donnie Darko stands for Donald darkness. And I, I started it over and rewatched it. And was just fascinated. So um, it says release January. 2001 in Mexico. Donnie Darko, Wikipedia. They will tell us when it was released in the United States. Could have swore he said something about October 2nd. Release date, October 26, 2001 in the United States. Mm, okay. Because when I came across this, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt and try one more time. Donnie Darko released October 2nd. In the United States of America, it was released in January 19th. We'll see October 2nd does come up. Donnie wakes up in his bedroom, recognizes the day. That's right. Okay, so it's October 2nd in the movie. See, I was watching this uh, 
wasn't paying attention like I should have been. Okay. I was doing about 10 other things. I'm not going to tell you where I was watching it or when I was watching it. Uh, but let's just say I had a lot of other stuff going on, so I was skimming it. So, wow. And that's when Trump announced he had coronavirus. Donald Trump has COVID-19 on October 2nd. Trump has COVID-19 going military hospital October 2nd, 2020 at 12.22 a.m. Okay. So, wakes up in his bedroom, recognizes the date is October 2nd and laughs. So, it's very interesting. I mean, that's very interesting. So it's in the Wikipedia article, the plot. On October 2nd, 1988, remember 88 is Trump. In Gematria, you had to go 88 miles per hour and the tag that came off the car said, out of time. October 2nd in a small town of Middlesex. Seriously, Middlesex? What does Middlesex mean? Virgin, Virgin, Middlesex. Well, remember, the, there's Satan, male, and there's Lucifer, female. Lucifer is the female transgendered version of Satan into the queen of the universe, mother nature, the mother goddess. It's sun and moon. It's a infusion. That's what an eclipse is. It's fusing the sun and the moon. Um, middle sex. Well, that's in the middle of sex. Male or female. Again, we've shown you before. Androgyny, David Bowie. They've all done it. Male, female. Androgyny, Beyonce. Androgyny, Lady Gaga. <laughs> wow. Um, androgyny in Hollywood. I'll tell you who else has done it big time. There's uh, Marlena Dietrich. There's Lady Gaga. Um, just lost my train of thought because I was fixing to take you to one that was definitely. Anyway, you get the idea. So Middlesex. Is that telling us 10th month full moon? One subscriber said that and that it really, I liked it. Oh, asteroid. Asteroid November 14th. November 29th. That's at the full moon. Oh, November 14th, 2020. My bad. November 14th, 20, on November 14th, 2020. So NASA tracking huge 500 meteor asteroid to pass the Earth. So I don't know if this is something God is doing or something they will stage. Uh, because we know there is no such thing as outer space. So I don't see how we can have an asteroid hit us. So it really makes me think something could be staged. And they will say asteroid. What they'll probably do is cause a tsunami to hit New York, which we've always kind of been waiting for. 
What else? What else? What else? What else? The hunt for red October. We went over. Oh, this this little nugget. The Trump photo. Hang on, and let me find it for you. Try it again. It's got the same fold in the neck. Just looks different. I don't know if they can create that fold or what or how or however or whatever. But boy, he sure looked weird when he was on that balcony. It didn't look like him. Um, So are they purposefully saying when he came back from receiving his crown, his corona, that he had, they did the, the clone swap. And of course, they'll tell, you know, the QAnon people will go, well, yes, that's, you know, that was to hide. They were going to kill him. So he went into hiding. You know, they're always going to say something. Bless their hearts. <laughs> I mean, they just, I don't know what to tell you. It's in the hands of the Lord. That's all I can tell you. Um, let's go to Trump on balcony, Trump on Truman balcony. Didn't look like him, did it? Trump returns what I mean and takes mask off. Boom, $83,400 <laughs> made money. So so the clone or the body double or the twin, here he comes. I don't know, looks like Trump to me. You see how odd all this is, though, don't you? I mean, is this guy just weird? Is everything just weird? It's a different view. You know what you wonder? Is how much of this is stage theatrics, where they placed a double in. I don't really ever know what real, anything that comes from the news is coming from theater. You know, and Trump sat there and tell, told everybody, fake news, fake news, fake news. He's telling you the news is fake. He's telling you that. It don't look like him, does it? It looks weird. This was a really weird deal. I'll tell you what I can do to not get a copyright strike. Just put it slow motion and let it play. <laughs> he is one weird cat, man. He is one weird cat. And the people that believe in him are very weird people to me. I can't help it. I mean, as an old Gator fan, I can sit there and think back in the days when I thought Florida State fans were weird, but see how stupid all that is, all that pride and ego stuff from sports. But people that are Trump fans, I just like, I just think they're weird. I'm like,
And is this guy exposing the real you? I mean, is this what you like? Is this what you're about? Somebody was telling me about pride in America. They're like, well, it's because of one God and one nation. I'm like, God's nation is Israel. If you're about God, then you're about the church, which is Israel. And Israel is the church. It's no longer that land over there. Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9, they say that they are Jews, but they are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. Revelation 11, 8, their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is now spiritually Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. The Antichrist declares himself to be God there, standing in the holy place, the temple. I've shown you on Mike Pompeo overlooking the architectural renderings of the coming third temple. Trump is on the temple coin. It will appear he is shot and killed. He will return. And they will say he went into hiding. You know, they're, well, they're, they're going to say he rose from the dead. That he's been rebirthed. But other, you know, I can't really tell you what's going to go on. Really, seriously. Like I can read the future. I don't know what's going to go on. It'll be a massive deception, though. The Bible says a deception so great that if it were possible, his very elect would be fooled. And of course, he does not allow them to be fooled. This guy, this guy, right? This guy. So anyway, I think we're done. And um, no. But I'm sure getting a lot of good comments. Got a lot of good subscribers. And they're offering a lot of nuggets. The Hunt for Red October. Interesting title for a movie. Let's just see when it came out. Just for the heck of it. Nineteen ninety, of course. Sean Connery plays James Bond. Hmm, March second, nineteen ninety. In November of nineteen eighty four, the Soviets' best submarine captain and their newest sub violates orders and heads of the U.S. He's trying to defect or start. Is he trying to defect or start a war? I watched this not long ago. It was on one of the movie channels, and I recorded it and watched a lot of it. All right, anyway, love y'all very much.